20 years from now, you'll regret more the things that you didn't do than the things that you did do. So sail away from the safe harbour, cut away the bowlines, explore, dream and discover. I think my first love has always been travel and adventure ever since I was little. You know, I was always fascinated by the lives of the great explorers of the Victorian era and the early 20th century, people like Shackleton and Scott and David Livingstone. And I think it was those individuals that inspired me to want to travel and explore myself. Ever since I was 18 and went off on my first very cliche gap year, you know, traveling around Southeast Asia and Australia, I just got the travel bug. But I actually went on to join the army. I joined the parachute regiment and spent five years as an officer and in charge of a group of men and we, we went off to, to fight in places like Afghanistan. We live in quite a risk averse society these days where people are scared of everything because of what we see on the news and I think it's important that go out there, see the world with your own eyes and make your own decisions. What I found is in the places that we often perceive to be dangerous or off limits, that's where you meet some of the most incredible people who offer the most amazing hospitality. I mean, there's been lots and lots of tricky moments, being shot at and ambushed by ISIS in Iraq, chased after by a hippo in Uganda, snapped at by crocodiles on the River Nile, being right on the front line in Syria, had spears thrown at me in, in Central Africa. There's an image I took on my recent journey in the Middle East. And as I was walking through this city, it was very eerie, complete silence. And then I heard this squeaking and turned around and saw an old man pushing a bicycle. And I asked him where he was going and he said he was going home. And he was. He was taking his bike, pushing it over the bricks and the debris, trying to find where his house used to be. And it seemed both a futile task, but also he had this amazing sense of hope. So that's an image that will stick with me for a long time.